Hi, welcome to Slater's Lot. It's episode two. Not really sure where we're going with this. We just thought it'd be a nice idea. So, welcome. Spinach and feta rolls. These are easy peasy squeezy to make. And I'm going to show you how. Bing. Put this on to six, guess mark six. You can hear it go boop. Chopped spinach, frozen, it's quite hard and lumpy. Ideally, you want to defrost it. You then get a squidgy sack of spinach and water. I'm going to tip the bag of spinach over a strainer and let the water, the extra moisture, ooze out of that. I'm squishing this down with the back of the fork to get the liquid out. Feta cheese. Um, this is a standard size pack. It's 200 grams and the spinach was... So I'm going to use half of this because I think otherwise it might be a bit too cheesy. So just cut through the packet and squeeze that out into there. And what you can do again is just chop it up, score it the other way. I don't mind them being little loggies, they, can, they crumble down quite nicely. Uh, feta cheese can be a bit heavy. Um, I'm going to have a lining of chilli sauce inside these sausage rolls. Mm, 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 mm. I like my feta. See how look, 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 look. So that's all I've done. I've just opened a bag of spinach, opened a packet of feta, mixed it together. I'm now going to open. Da, da, da. Packet of pastry! And wash my hands. Roll out the pastry. Because I like to make things a little, well, interesting, different, tasty, whatever you want to say. I'm going to put a little bit of chilli jam on the inside of the pastry. I'm just sort of guessing that's about the width. With the spinach and feta, just sort of push it along. It, it's, it's very bulky. And once you start rolling your sausage up, you'll be surprised how much it sort of squishes and spills out and how hard it is to make your edges meet up. But the reason for leaving it in the paper like that, because it makes it incredibly easy for you. You just roll it on itself in the paper like that. Just roll it, roll it, roll it. Yeah, and just where I've got to about an overlap, yeah, I'll just sneak it back a little bit because that's where the beaten egg comes in because that makes a little gluey seal and on the side of my lovely vegetarian spinach and feta sausage roll. So I'm just going to sneak it back again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put a bit more in there. It looks a little... It looks a little like a prison cigarette at the moment. I think it could be a little bit more... I was going to say a little bit more European, meaning a little bit more generous, but realise that's almost like a Brexit political statement by saying something is nicer when it was European. What are you talking about? This is performance art. Oh, sorry, this is... Yeah, so again, as, as the drugs and chocolate of the previous episode represented my feelings on the um, cocaine industry, this spinach and feta... Um, I am packing more generously with more flavour and more exotic and more excitement and I'm calling this my European roll. Stuff you in your Greg's veggie what's it. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to stop about there and get my um, very nice palette knife and just draw a straight line down there like that. Just cut it through the pastry very gently. So I'm going to cut it and then cut it again, because they are actually quite chewy, this old uh, spinach malarkey. Roll it off the page, put it onto my lovely Pyrex glass baking tray, which is wonderfully stay clean and beautiful looking and not like those old tin trays that were all a bit shonky. Oopsie they they look like shonky. So you just put it back together again. What are you doing on top of them, Sarah? Uh, the little cross hatching on the top is so as the puff pastry um, expands, it makes that little frilly pattern on the top. So we'll see that then. Those were a little amateur, I'm sorry. Um, it's been a long day. Well, it hasn't been a long day. I went to the aquarium, actually. I went to the aquarium. That was lovely. Saw the seahorses. I said, oh, look at the seahorse. I said... I thought it was having a baby because you know the men seahorses are the ones that carry the babies 
and I saw it pushing something out of its alien point and we both stared at it and it just did a big poo. <laughs> I'm a sort of low, you know, one pot, one thing. I haven't had to flour the table. I haven't had to make the pastry. I haven't had to roll it out. I did used to buy those blocks where you roll it out. But this, you don't even have to roll it out, do you? You just, you just let it sort of slide over. So yeah, I'm gonna put the... Um, And then one more cut, and one more cut again, and there we've got four little piggy sausage rolls, little veggie rolls, ready to go to market. And that little piggy had roast beef, and that little piggy had none, and that little piggy went... This knife's a bit sharper to do a slightly better cut on, you'll see when they... This is the bit that's left over. It's not quite the right size to do a sausage roll with, although it probably is, but just as an alternative, I'm going to suggest we do this. Yeah, so not just a sausage roll, but we're going to call this a little kind of roulade, if you like. We didn't put any chilli jam on this one. Oops, looks like that. Oh, he's a big boy though, isn't he? He's a big boy. <laughs> yeah, I resisted any innuendo with taking the thing out of the packet as well. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> wow! Okay. <sighs> you, you don't get many of them to the pan, that's for sure. I'm going to not cut that on my nice table. I'm going to cut that on the gritty tray. And then everything is going to get... Actually, I should move those before I baste them because they're going to be really slippy afterwards. Move them <laughs> onto a non-grease baking tin. <laughs> Sorry, I think I missed my warm-up music tonight. I don't know. When you cook on TV, you pop! So I'm popping them in the oven. Um, I'm going to put the other ones on the top shelf because they're a bit higher and these on the bottom. But your oven usually does heat in different places at different temperatures. So just keep an eye on something if it's lower down or higher up. It's only a general guesstimate. They'll be ready in about 15 minutes. <laughs> did I hear the timer? Ping! I think I did. <coughs> 15 minutes. I'm going to have a look see. Oh, oh. Oh, well look, they look nice, don't they? They look just nice. Oh, look at that. And you see where... This one's cut nicely. I said the other ones weren't quite deep enough, but that looks, uh, I'd say, professional, wouldn't you? I'm a happy dreamer. I believe in love. Spinach and feta rolls. I wanted the content. Nice, okay. It's... <laughs> <laughs> non-greased baking tin, yeah. a non-greased baking tin, a non-greased baking tin. Now move them onto a non-greased baking tin. Oh. What you saying? What you say, boy? Continue to wait. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> Go, did you say go? Sorry, did you say go? You did say go, sorry. Um